I think that the Minister of Health is exhibiting an amount of, arro amount of arrogance and bullying, I mean, and, and a bully attitude that I think is un unhelpful in resolving this, this problem. Other than going to the legality of the Uganda Medical Association, the object clause of their, of their constitution, mm. the minister must be concerned about the legitimacy of the issues that they raise. The question we should be asking ourselves is, do they raise issues that warrant our attention? And my, my, my response is, yes, they do. And I think the minister had better spend our energy trying to resolve those legitimate concerns. Concerns about working conditions, concerns about uh, equipment required for work. I've, I've had too many doctors claim or, or, or tell me that patients have died in their hands. They couldn't do anything because there were no basic equipment. But their um, association is not a legal outfit. Simon, the right to association is a fundamental right provided for by the Constitution. It may not be a union, but an association of medical workers. You have a fundamental right of the freedom of association under Article 40 and Article 23 of the Constitution. That right is not granted by the Minister of Health or by the state. It's an inherent constitutional right. They also have an inherent right to withdraw their labor under Article 40 of the Constitution. If you think that uh, there's an industrial dispute, you have a right to withhold your labor. Those are fundamental rights not granted by the minister. So it doesn't matter whether it is an association or there's a union. This association is an association of doctors. Whether registered or non-registered, they have a fundamental right to associate, to come together in furtherance of a common, a common goal and a common objective. So the argument about the association's legality is, 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 is in my view, superfluous.